So next, we will talk about inductors. So an inductor is a passive element designed to store energy in its magnetic field. So it is applied in electronics and power systems such as power supplies, transformers, radios, electric motors, etc. So it, it exhibits opposition to the change of current flowing through it. So basically an inductor consists of a coil of conducting wire with n number of turns. So it is wound around a core material with cross-sectional area A and length L, where the inductance capital L is given by n squared times the permeability of the core material times the cross-sectional area A over the length. So this uh, picture shows various types of inductors. So we have solenoidal wound inductors, toroidal inductor, and then we have chip inductors. So following the passive sign convention, if a current is allowed to pass through an inductor, it is found that the voltage across the inductor is directly proportional to the time rate of change of the current. So the voltage is directly proportional to the rate of change of the current. So this equation shows that when there is no change in current, this is zero, voltage across an inductor is also zero. So meaning at DC, the inductor is a short circuit. Now getting the current voltage relationship, it is obtained by Transposing dt to the other side, we have di equal to 1 over L V dt. So when you integrate both sides, we have i of d equivalent to 1 over L integral of V dt. And we have a constant k. Or you can have 1 over L integral of V dt prime integrated from initial time t naught to a certain time t plus the initial current at time at initial time. So you can use this equation right here or this equation right here. Now solving for the uh, energies stored in an inductor. So first let's get the power delivered to the inductor. So we all know power is given by P times I. Substituting the value of V is L di over dt times i. A transposing dt to the other side, we have p dt equal to L i di. Now integrating both sides, we have the energy stored an inductor is equivalent to L integral of I di for prime integrated from the initial value of I to the value of I at time T. So this becomes one half L. I of T squared minus I of T naught squared. If we let the initial current to be zero, this equation becomes one half L I squared. 
Example number one, obtain VC, IL, and the energy stored in the capacitor and inductor under DC conditions. So, under DC conditions, a capacitor is an open circuit and an inductor is a short circuit. So, this circuit becomes So, this 4 ohms is connected to a open circuit. And then, this 5 ohms is connected to a short circuit. We have 5, 4, 1, and 12. Then we have plus minus VC. This is our IL. So how do we obtain the value of IL? So if we look at the circuit, the 1 ohm resistor and the 5 ohm resistor are connected in series. So by ohm's law, IL just 12 over 6 equal to 2 amperes. Now solving for VC, since the current flowing through the 4 ohm resistor is 0, the voltage VC is just equivalent to the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor, which is 5 times IL. We have 10 volts. So the energy stored in the capacitor is equivalent to one over one over one over two one half times C V C squared equivalent to fifty joules. Now for the inductor we have one half L I L squared is 4 joules now just like resistors and capacitors inductors can be arranged in series or in parallel so looking at this series series inductors applying kvl at this loop so we can see that v is just equivalent to v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus up to P sub n and sub substituting the values of each voltage we have L1 Di1 Dt plus L2 Di2 Dt plus L3 Di3 Dt plus up to the nth voltage by n dt but in series connection the current i1 i2 and i3 up to i n is just equivalent so we can rewrite the equation as l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus ln times di over dt so where the this part right here is the equivalent inductance now let's take a look at the parallel connected inductors so if we apply kcl at this loop i mean at this node You can see that I equivalent to I1 plus I2, I3 plus up to I sub n. Now substituting the values for I, we have 1 over L1 integral of V1 dt plus 1 over L2 integral of V2 dt 
plus 1 over L3 integral of V3 dt up to the nth component. So in a parallel connection, voltage is voltage across each uh, inductor is just equal. So we can rewrite this equation as 1 over L1 plus 1 over L2 1 over L3 plus 2 1 over Ln times integral of V dt. So where this expression right here is equivalent to 1 over equivalent inductance. Uh, for example, number 2, we are given this circuit. So we have three inductors. So we are given the I of T is equivalent to 4 quantity 2 minus E to the negative 10 T milliamperes. And if I2 at 0 is equivalent to negative milliamperes, find I1 of 0, Vt, V1 of T, V2 of T, I1 of T, and I2 of T. Uh, 